Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and today I am back with another cool video and I'll be talking about five unique launchers that you can install on your Android device. Now, what do I mean by unique launchers? So let's say Nova launcher or Apex launcher or let's say for example, the Pixel launcher. Almost all of them has the same app drawer and see while 10% of the settings might be different, but the looks are the same and 90% of the settings, let's say the icon pack or the icon type or the app drawer, they are pretty much the same. But when I'm talking about the unique Android launchers, things can go pretty crazy. Yes, this video is all about those crazy things that you can do on your Android. So let's see what are those launchers that you can install. My name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. So starting with very first in the list, we have the Lens Launcher. Now, this particular launcher is my personal favorite. And while it is very complex to see and look at it, but then it's very easy to use once you get started. Now, the idea here is that you get a screen full of super small icon apps. You can swipe your finger across the screen to zoom into the list and then select the app of your choice. Now, while there's not a whole lot of customizability to offer here, but this experience is well worth the trade-off. If you just want a super cool looking home screen setup that gives you quick access to literally all the apps without complicating things, this one is for you. So trust me when I say this, that people are gonna ask you which launcher are you using if they actually see you using this on your phone. Now, the next app in the list is the Peak Launcher. And while it might sound exactly like the Lens Launcher, but it's a bit different. So talking about the launcher, instead of a dock, you get two rows of frequently used apps on your home screen. Below that, there's a T9 keyboard that you can use to search for any other installed app on your device. It's minimal, quick, and definitely gives a more unique look to your device. Now, the one thing to note here is that the search, the T9 search is just not limited to apps. You can search people, I mean, people from your contact book. You can also search for action, let's say, taking a new photo or a selfie. All the actions or the people will be right there when you search them using the T9. And what makes T9 so simple to use is that, see, you just have to dial in the numbers that makes, let's say, if you want to type ASH, ISH, you just need to type 2, 7, and so on. So in such a way, it's very quick, but then you'll have to trade off with so many other features. Let's say the option to customize is not available here. And uh, the wallpaper also has to look pretty minimal if you want to go with the T9. So yes, there are trade-offs, but then this is one of those apps that you should use to try and explore it. So guys, Varun also has some cool launchers he would like to recommend to all of you. So let's hear it from Varun itself. And over to you, bro. Hey guys, what's up? So now, while Ashish has already spoken about a couple of launchers, they are usually all about minimalism. But what if you want everything, like literally everything on your home screen? Well, that's why I have this next app for you and it's aptly named AIO or All-in-One Launcher. The AIO Launcher is all about showing everything possible on the home screen. You can find frequently used apps, notifications, time, weather, date, alarms, timers, mails, calendar events, Google feed, and even your Twitter feed and what not. I mean, there are also quick actions like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Now to find all your installed apps, you can just swipe from the left or you can even search for them. Now I do understand that some of you might find it too complicated or like basically they just prefer a little more minimalistic system. I get it. I get it. Everyone has their own choices. It's okay. But if you're looking for something super minimal, this next launcher is something that you'll absolutely love. It's called a decluttered launcher. And the way it works is that on your desktop, you get a small list of apps that you can pin. Now, while other minimalistic launchers draw a line there, the way this one works is with gestures. You can have two custom apps pinned on either side of the desktop. Swipe up and you can access your entire list of apps. Swipe down and you can do an easy internet search. And that's not all. There's quick access to your calendar as well in the top right corner. Trust me, if you're looking for a distraction-free launcher, this app works wonders for you. And well, 
with that my time here is up but wait didn't the title of this video say five apps well ashish still has something for you in store so make sure you watch this video till the very end and you do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos from me till then handing this back to ashish so guys to wrap things up the last launcher in the list has to be the niagara launcher now this launcher is a perfect blend of minimalism beauty and productivity and unlike other launchers it doesn't offer a ton of useless features that most user will never want to use or limit themselves the home page here is just the text of your favorite apps which you can save and you can save up to 12 names here apart from that you can also find an alphabetical sidebar at the right which you can slide through and find your favorite apps instantly it's like a water flow and i think the app gets its name from here which is the niagara launcher so guys you should definitely check this launcher out if you haven't already now one of my personal favorite feature here is that you can see the notifications right from your home screen if you want to interact with them so do make sure that i mean you try at least one or two of them and then uh, i mean make a sound decision as to which one would you like to use now all of them are super cool you'll find the download links in the description of this video and if you like this video please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit that subscribe button as well So well that's all and I hope to see you in our next video until then take care and have a wonderful day bye bye